Hey everyone, welcome to my channel techbeast.org. So today what we are going to say is all about storing Internet of Things data. Okay, so we are going to discuss about SQLite. So SQLite is basically, uh, um, in a layman term, we can consider it as a light version of uh, SQL databases like MySQL, Postgres SQL, and SQL Server. Okay, so how this SQLite is going to power up a lot of Internet of Things application and how you can make use of this SQLite database to store your IoT data uh, in a simple way okay so okay so let's um, get into the session and uh, what is sqlite basically so sqlite is basically a c language library uh, that implements a small fast uh, self-contained okay self-contained in the sense it does not need uh, any uh, client server uh, kind of communication so it's all the databases available as a single file okay it's a, just a single file uh, which you need to access in order to access all your data and the file will be stored in your local machine and you don't need to do any kind of configuration so SQLite is completely a zero configuration database engine and it's highly reliable okay so so that's the reason you can use it for a lot of uh, uh, applications other than IOT and you can make use of it then SQLite is a lightweight uh, disk based database so as I said SQL is not like a client server um, a database engine similar to MySQL Postgres SQL it's basically a, a lightweight disk based database so meaning uh, your database uh, is stored as a single file in your uh, local disk okay so basically SQLite you can store in your local disk or you can store uh, in your RAM also okay so you can uh, store the database in your RAM in order to access it very fast so there are a lot of um, options you can make use of it but ultimately this SQLite database will be stored in your local machine okay as a single file so then uh, it's just a, um, a fact so there are over 1 trillion SQLite databases in active use okay so that's that's a big number so basically this is a simple architecture of SQLite database so let's say you have a, a user application which can be any of your web application or some IOT dashboard or some kind of sort of applications okay and uh, you are going to talk to the SQLite database using an SQLite library so this library can be uh, in any language so it can be in Node.js or Python or so whatever so today we are going to um, see one of a demo uh, which I, where I'm going to use uh, Node.js okay so I'm going to use Node.js and uh, we are going to use some SQLite NPM modules in order to uh, create a database um, and put some uh, sensor data into the database okay so then uh, you can see uh, the all the application will uh, fetch the data from the SQLite file. Okay, so the SQLite file is basically it's a, a some file dot db. Okay, so this file uh, contains all the information, all your tables, uh, your data, everything will be contained in a single file, and your application will uh, open the file. It's just like f open uh, kind of command. Okay, you are going to open the file, you are going to read the data, and you are going to uh, showcase it in dashboard or do some analytics or whatever. Okay, so so that's how this SQLite um, uh, database works, and that's a simple architecture. So then uh, how SQLite in um, embedded devices and IoT world uh, is very useful. Okay, so how SQLite is very useful in uh, uh, such scenario. So SQLite is a good fit. Okay, so mainly for a smartphone. So all your Android devices uh, just need a local storage. So they are using uh, SQLite database. So almost a lot of smartphone devices will be using uh, and we are using now is uh, having this SQLite database running inside and a lot of setup boxes and televisions, game consoles, cameras, watches, kitchen appliances, your smart toaster, refrigerators and remote sensors. So almost all the IoT uh, devices, okay, so you can make use of this SQLite depend on the application and your needs. So uh, then it has a small code footprint. It uses memory and disk space efficiently. Okay, so that's the reason SQLite is completely reliable and it requires very little maintenance. Okay, so what you just need to do is you can uh, create a database and you can just start using it for your application. Okay, so everything will be stored uh, in your local machine. So, and one more um, advantage of this uh, SQLite database and embedded and IoT world is it's resilient to network outages. So, meaning, uh, let's say if you take um, MySQL or Postgres SQL means uh, your database will be running in some servers and your client need to establish a connection with the servers through some drivers. And in case if there is any network issue or some kind of outages, the client cannot be able to reach the server. But in SQLite scenario, it's completely different. Okay, so all your databases, all your information is stored within a local uh, um, machine and 
you're totally independent okay so even though you don't have an internet connection even though there is no in uh, network uh, network it doesn't matter your machine will always have the access to your data okay through a uh, sqlite uh, database file okay so so that's how this sqlite is uh, a very powerful and embedded and iot world okay so so let's um, get some uh, a hands-on session okay so let's get it, your hands dirty with the sqlite so today what we are going to see is um, i'm going to make you um, make you develop some simple application using raspberry pi and you're going to toggle an led and you're going to store your uh, toggling status for example when you click on when you click off this data will be stored in your sqlite database so when you understand this concept it can be applied anywhere okay so the smart um, uh, this led can be your smart bulb and this led can be replaced with a sensor okay so basically in iot it's all about actuators and sensors either you're going to read some data or either you're going to write some data to the sensor in order to toggle it or change its state so when you understand this com concept you must be able to uh, create your own uh, applications and create your own mini projects okay so this uh, session will give you a, a good experience to kickstart how this uh, internet of things and sqlite uh, sqlite database uh, will power up a lot of innovative applications okay so what are the steps we are going to do so basically um, so in techbeast.org so we write a lot of uh, open source uh, programs and codes uh, in order to teach easily okay so we have already developed a simple code for you so you can just clone this repository and you can just run uh, you can install it and run your application so the npm modules we have used here are express so express is basically uh, uh, it's it's you will use along with the node.js so in order to build some amazing and easy way of uh, building apis okay so you can use express uh, then sqlite 3 is basically the database which we are talking about and ejs is um, basically a html uh, rendering engine okay so so we are going to use uh, ejs here so you can use html uh, web pages and uh, you just just using javascripts you can pass data from your node.js to your html application and it's very simple okay it, give, it gives the best integration between your back end and front end and it's very easy then um, raspberry pi dash gpio it's rpi dash gpio so basically this is an npm module which will um, help us to toggle our led on and off okay so then um, so how what is the project structure so you can see the project structure here so toggle led sqlite is basically the the master folder so under that you will see index.js where all our source files uh, will be available and all your routes everything okay so your routes to turn on led your routes to turn off led and your um, routes to get all the information which is stored in the database everything uh, resides in the inside this index.js then this db.js this will um, uh, establish a database connection this will create a database and this will create a table for us okay in order to insert all your um, leds uh, status then basically this views folder has all the html uh, files uh, okay so here we are going to use only two two pages one is the index page to uh, to make you turn on and turn off your led and another one is the uh, logs page where we will be seeing all your device logs then public folder got all your public um, uh, like like your images javascript css and all these kind of information uh, you, have, you have under this public assets okay so then okay so let's uh, uh, get our hands dirty so so make sure um, just install node.js everything in your raspberry pi and um, get it ready and we can move into the hands-on session okay so as you see this is the github page of this um, project so under this uh, techbeast-org slash toggle dash led dash sqlite you can find all the source code available for you to try out this project so uh, basically what we are going to do is uh, we are going to clone this repository and we are going to install all the uh, dependencies so in our case uh, so it's basically this package.js and so we, it will uh, as i said we are going to use ejs module express module rpi dash gpio sqlite 3 so basically this npm install command will install all this uh, dependencies for you to uh, run this project so in case if you face any issues in installing this sqlite database or if you have a newer version of node so basically it's always a good practice to uh, to rebuild all your packages so so in case if you face any 
uh, errors in this SQLite installations or some stuff, you can just uh, run as, uh, sudo npm rebuild. So this will rebuild all your packages and you can smoothly run your application. So then uh, just by running npm start, uh, you can able to start your application and you can, you can access it uh, from port 3000 by just putting your Raspberry Pi's IP address uh, and running in port 3000. Okay, so now let me take you to my console. So basically this is mine. So now I am uh, in my Raspberry Pi's console. Okay, so I have already uh, cloned the repository and I have installed all the packages. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, change the get into the folder so toggle led sqlite i'm going to list down all the files so you can see all the db.js index.js and all the node modules available okay so i have already executed all the um, dependencies and i have installed the packages so now what we need to do is uh, just npm start command i'm going to uh, key in so this will start the uh, database this will create a database for me inside this folder and, it, and i can open this uh, uh, raspberry pi's ip address uh, in port 3000 in order to access this application so 192.168.1.89 is my raspberry pi's ip address so when you uh, run npm start you can access your application um, via this uh, url okay so now you can see a simple and beautiful web page so basically uh, you, you can toggle on when you uh, press led on this will toggle the led on when you press led off this will toggle the led off okay so now uh, so let's uh, so in order to show you how this uh, uh, database uh, everything is working so let me toggle on and off few more times okay so now uh, when you click uh, view logs it will show you all the information okay all the logs what we have did so so what time what is the device and what is the status so nearly we have turned on and off nearly for five six times so you can see all the data available inside okay inside your database so I have installed a simple SQLite client in my laptop and I have opened this. Uh, so now maybe in order to show you, let me stop this application and I just list down. You can see the devices underscore logs dot DB file created. Okay, so this is, a, uh, this is our database file. It's a SQLite database file. So all your tables, everything is inside. I just use a SQLite um, a client in order to open this DB file. So as you can see here, so we, you can see the tables inside. So logs is our table. When you just expand it, you can see all the columns available. So just right click and browse. You can see all the data available inside the SQLite database. Okay, so uh, that's so cool, right? So so now, uh, uh, so again, so maybe I can just explain the code a little bit. So, so let me open the scat index.js file. So basically you can see all the, and this is the file available inside this index.js. So I have defined, I have um, uh, declared all the modules uh, necessary for this project. So which is express SQLite 3 and I have de defined my database. Okay. So, and I have defined my view engine as EJS. So EJS is basically in order to render HTML uh, pages easily. Okay. So here goes, uh, your um, Raspberry Pi dash GPIO module. Okay, so GPIO dot setup seven. So I'm uh, connecting uh, pin number seven in my project. I'm just going to disable. These are all just simple stuffs. So uh, so this will render the index page. And when you make a post request, in order to turn the LED on, and this is where you your function to insert the data insert the data into database resides. Okay. So once it is inserted, you will, I'm just been printing that on status is inserted to your DB and similar way I'm following it for off. And in order to view the logs, I'm just selecting all the uh, data from the database and displaying it as a table. Okay. So that's very simple. Um, uh, it's very, very simple, basic application. But um, if you understand this uh, technique, you can able to create uh, a lot of uh, amazing IOT applications and it will be more fun. And uh, let me uh, show you something about uh, the front end. Okay, so in our case, all the front end uh, portion lies inside the folder views directory. So, okay, so as you see, uh, you can see the index.ejs and logs.ejs file. Basically, uh, it's a HTML file. Since we are using EJS, EJS as a, a module to render our HTML pages, uh, the file name has to be .ejs. Okay, so the index.ejs. Um, has your front um, front end which is basically um it's uh, uh two buttons you can see uh, which makes the led on led off okay and uh, there is another button to show the locks so this will uh make a get request to slash led slash locks okay so so basically the locks dot um ejs will uh, 
it's just basically a table so in this table i'm just printing the timestamp okay so this data i'm calling from the index dot uh, js file and i'm just calling the timestamp and i'm just uh, uh, printing that uh, taking the name and i'm just um, taking the status okay so uh, i'm just running a for each loop uh, in order to uh, print all the data available inside the database okay to display as a table so these are all just basic html uh, working with html and css so so uh, so okay i hope you guys um, understood the concepts and how sqlite is um, useful in building a lot of iot applications okay so i will um, see you in more uh, see you with more interesting videos in my upcoming session and with more innovative projects so we can build uh, more and more complex projects and uh, uh, day by day we can we can just uh, learn uh, better things okay in iot so thanks for watching guys uh, if you like my channel and my videos please subscribe to it and show your support so let's make technology ecpc for everyone and a lot more um, fun projects are on the way so we are going to talk a lot about technologies and open source software so stay tuned uh, stay safe and